producers, Marshall Pruitt. We're here about to do, I guess, the most important Mike Hole stints and stops of the year, the Indy 500. <laughs> this right here is where you will be sitting. I don't sit much. True. Normally I'm standing out there. Very true. Yeah. Hopefully for all 500 miles on Sunday, you with our favorite New Zealander, Scott Dixon, You've been getting us up to speed and educated all season long, Mike, on how many stints you think we're going to have. What are the general fuel windows? What's the strategy going into Sunday? Let's coach them up. Yeah, let's talk about the Indianapolis 500. 200 laps, first of all. And I would say 200 laps. Here's the lap that I hate the most. It's not the last lap. It's lap 159. Really? Yeah, because if you study what goes on, it, it seems invariably there's a lap, there's a yellow that happens 58 to 60. That's the worst yellow in the world because then you have to decide are you going to come because you can't make it. You can't make it from lap 159. Uh, so that's a tough one. Um, the yellows we could talk about that first personally here. They're interspersed throughout the race. And this is historically looking at historic trends where yeah, they kind of it's fall. hard to look at trends because they just kind of fall through the race. 20% uh, of the race will be yellow. Wow. Uh, 15 to 17 laps of yellow total. Uh, but you don't know when they're going to fall. Uh, so what that probably means for most of us is that it's over five stops, probably six or seven stops. Uh, if, you have a, if you're at a half fuel load, you're going to take it. Ooh. Uh, you're probably going to take it because that gets you the 30 lap interval that you, <coughs> excuse me, the 30 lap interval that you really need. It's 30 laps on a tank of fuel for most people. You lose a lap for 39 seconds in the pit lane. If you're more than three seconds behind the leader, you lose a, a full lap under green. So wherever you come into the pits, is where you're going to fall back onto the racetrack with the people you've probably been racing with. That's what makes now these days this race so difficult. The race has become processional. And processional simply means that in the group you're racing in, when you come into pits for your stop, you're going to have to put the downforce in your car for the group you're racing with, not the group, not necessarily the downforce you want at the end of the race. Wow. It's very different. Uh, I'm not going to dis it. I hope I'm not going to dis disappoint anybody here when I say what I'm going to say next. It's going to be a breakaway race at the end. Really? It is. Everybody talks about how competitive the car racing is, and it is very, very uh, carnivorous. But at the end of the race, the strong will prevail. And it will be a breakaway race at the end. It will be an exciting race at the end. But the way I look at it is somebody's going to break away and uh, they'll deserve to be that person. That's what happens here. Uh, a breakaway carnivorous race. That seems like the perfect <laughs> encapsulation. A breakaway carnivorous race. Lots to watch here on Sunday on NBC.